Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. A few days ago I was online looking through the Facebook groups and I came across a discussion about the Shimmer Lights mask. I've never used it before. I was curious about it so I purchased this bottle and I'm going to give it a try today. I have not opened the bottle, I have not smelled it, I have not used it. So this will be the first time that I apply this to my hair. I really just wanted to wait until I was on camera so that way I could record my first impression. And I'm pretty nervous about giving it a try. I've never used a violet toning mask. I just don't want to stain my hair purple. As long as it comes off or it washes off eventually I'll be okay with it. But if it stains my hair permanently I would freak out. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to read what's on the bottle. Shimmer Lights Violet Toning Mask. Deep conditions and tones blonde, highlighted and silver hair. The directions say to apply to clean wet hair and comb through to evenly distribute. Leave on for five minutes, rinse thoroughly. So I'm going to do exactly what the directions say to do because I don't want to mess up my hair or stain my hair or do anything like that. So I'm just going to leave it on for five minutes after I wash my hair. So let me show you the bottle again. My hair isn't yellow. I don't have any yellowing. But I want to see if this will enhance my silver hair, maybe make it brighter. And I wonder if it would, if it's going to do anything to the dark areas underneath. So I have this dark area, which I really love. I, I like the dark area underneath all the white. So I'm hoping it won't change it too much. But if it does, I'm okay with that. So my only concern is will it stain my hair so we'll see if this works so wish me luck i'm gonna hop in the shower i'll be right back to apply this to my hair okay i am back my hair has been washed and it's ready for the hair mask okay i'm a little nervous let's open this up i do have gloves and I was going to use gloves, but I decided not to because I want to see if it stains. It smells like flowers. Nice scent. I really like that. I know some people don't like the flowery smell. I love it. Oh, and it's really dark purple. I hope this does not stain my hair. I don't mind if it stains my hands. So here's... What it looks like. Kind of excited. Okay, I haven't turned on the timer yet. But I'll start it now because it's going to take me some time to get into the shower anyways. So, get that started. And I'm going to start down at the bottom. I'll just look into the screen and it's really dark purple. Look at that. Wow. I'm not used to this dark purple. I use the Dermac Purple Shampoo and Conditioner and it's so light and that's why I use it because I don't want to stain my hair and that does not stain. But I really want to give other stuff a try. I've been trying different purple shampoos and I'll be posting reviews about those in the future. So I'm just gonna lather it on. All right, so there's my alarm. I'm going to hop into the shower. I'll come out and give you a quick update to let you know how it feels. And then I'll let it air dry and then I'll come back onto camera. So I'll be right back. I am back. Just so wanted to give you a quick update on how my hair feels right now. So while I was in the shower, it felt nice and soft. And I didn't think I was going to need to apply conditioner. 
but once I washed all the mask off, my hair started to feel dry. So I had to apply a little bit of regular conditioner just to soften my hair up a bit. My hands didn't get stained, it washed off really quick, so there's no purple on my hands, so I'm hoping that once this dries, there won't be a purple tint to my hair. So far it looks okay, I don't see any purple in there. I'll be back once my hair is completely dry, so we can see the results. I am back, my hair is completely dry, and I can see a difference. My hair is super soft, I love it. I was worried when I was in the shower and I had rinsed it off and it was really dry. I got a little worried at that point because I thought even though that I had put some conditioner on that it would get dry again but it is super super soft and super white. I can definitely see a difference in the color of my hair and it didn't change the hair underneath. I was afraid it would lighten it up a bit, but it, let me see if I can show it to you. So it's still the nice dark brown that I like. I kind of like the two tones. I really like it. I really like this stuff. I would definitely for sure buy this again. It works really great. Like I said, it does feel dry when you wash it off in the shower. So you, you are going to have to apply a little bit of conditioner. I applied regular conditioner. I didn't want to overdo it with the purple mask and then apply purple conditioner. And I didn't want to change the results. I really wanted to see what this alone, what kind of results this using this alone would give me. And I really, really like the results. This is wonderful. This is definitely something that I will be adding to my routine. I probably won't use it all the time just because I don't want to overdo it, but definitely something that I'm going to be adding to my routine. I might just do this once or twice a month just to kind of brighten up my hair a little more. I'm very happy with the results. And I did not apply anything to my hair. I let my hair air dry. And I didn't apply anything because I wanted to show the true results. So I haven't applied anything to help my flyaways or anything so my hair is a little kind of sticking up here and there but it's really soft I'm glad I came across that post about the mask this is wonderful so give it a try it works really well it makes your hair really soft and smooth and not bad for a little hair mask. If you decide to give this a try, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.